Well, Italy, Spain, France, Germany, Austria, Greece, all of these countries have one thing in common, a rise of the right or conservative ideology. The victory of Greece's new Democratic Party has reignited the debate in Europe. Now, the Greek conservative leader, Mitsotakis has been sworn in as the Prime Minister of Greece for the second time. Sunday's vote was a huge defeat for the Greek left parties. Apart from this, the Greek election also witnessed the entry of three fringe right-wing and nationalist parties into the parliament. This includes an anti-immigration party dubbed as Spartans. In total, these parties have won more than 35 seats. Now, staying with this trend in Germany, the far-right party alternative for Germany has made a comeback. The AFD candidate Robert Sesselman won a runoff vote in the Sonnenberg district. His campaign focused largely on national rather than local issues. A hardline immigration policy is at the core of AFD. However, the possibility that AFD could win an election was alarm, has alarmed many critics. They see the party as xenophobic and anti-democratic. Moving on to Austria, where a far-right party called Freedom Party, and it is led by Jörg Haider, uh, has also made headlines after suggesting that he is sympathetic to the Nazi regime. However, the party is leading many opinion polls in Austria, surprisingly. Let's move on to Spain where the corridors of power can witness a right-wing leader after Francisco Franco. Uh, in the recent local elections, a far-right Vox party exceeded all expectations. A snap general election has been called for July, and political analysts predict Vox could soon form the government. From France's Marine Le Pen uh, and her national rally party to Italy's Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni and her uh, far-right brothers of Italy party, political experts are divided over various issues in Europe. This ranges from adopting a new economic strategy to illegal migrant crisis. For more on this, we now have uh, Giles Gibson joining us from Rhone. And uh, welcome to the show, uh, Giles. Now, uh, with the Greek Conservative leader Mitsotakis uh, having been sworn in as the Prime Minister of Greece for the second time, this seems to be part of a larger trend in Europe, isn't it? That's right, really the, the centre-right in this election in Greece having a very strong showing. We had uh, Mitsotakis, the incoming Prime Minister, returning for a new mandate as Greek Prime Minister, his party claiming 158 seats out of the total 300. And that is a very rare thing in Greek politics, to claim an outright majority in the parliament. And of course, that allows you to push through all of the sorts of reforms that you, that you plan to and that you campaigned on. We saw when he was being sworn in, Mitsotakis saying that this is the moment when Greece can realize big changes that are needed to their society. And really his focus, he's a former banker uh, and he's also the scion of a political dynasty in Greece. His focus is on the economy. He wants to, for example, improve Greece's credit rating, which for many years, really since the start of the Greek debt crisis, more than a decade ago, has been languishing in the doldrums. His plan, he says, is to bring Greece's credit rating back once again. He wants to boost one of the key sectors in the country, tourism, and he also wants to bring the average wage that your average citizen in Greece earns much closer to the, the average across the EU. Those wage levels really across southern Europe had been lagging behind places like Germany and France and the Netherlands for many years now after uh, these different countries in southern Europe were hit by the shock waves of the global financial crisis from about 2008 on. So this is certainly, these results from Greece, a real strong return for that kind of centre-right conservative government really focused on, on boosting economic growth and boosting uh, particular sectors within the Greek economy. Right, uh, guys, thanks very much indeed. Uh, and that, of course, being a, a part of a larger trend of moving towards the centre-right in many parts of Europe as well. Thanks for that.